Hi, I'm Mike Huxley and this is the Bemused Backpacker channel. Make sure you stay tuned because in this episode we're talking about flash packing. Now if you've been following me on social media at all lately you'll know that at the moment I'm traveling through India and as you can probably see behind me I'm staying in an amazing little boutique hotel here in Gujarat and this is no cheap hostel with a dozen other backpackers. This is a huge private room with a private bathroom and a bit more comfort than most backpackers are used to. So a few people have asked me on social media why exactly I'm not staying in a hostel. And it's a fair enough question really. I am, after all, a backpacker, right? I'm the bemused backpacker. So why aren't I backpacking? Well, I am, technically. I'm doing what is known as flash packing. It's very, very similar to, to backpacking. It's just very slightly different. In essence, it's no different at all to backpacking. I'm still traveling independently. I'm still traveling slowly and still largely on a budget as well. I'm not mega rich after all, I wish I was, but I'm doing all the same things I used to do as an ultra budget backpacker. I'm just doing it with a slightly larger budget now, which means that I can upgrade and get a little bit more comfort. And that's all flash packing is, backpacking on a slightly better budget. It means that Instead of going for the cheapest dorm room, I can experience staying in some amazing family guest houses and local boutique hotels as well. And it means that I can get my own space and a huge double bed all to myself. It means that instead of those 12 hour overnight buses, I can splurge a little bit on a flight and spend more time in the destination when I get there. And there's nothing wrong with that. I've been backpacking around the world for 20 years now. And sometimes I just want my own space and a little bit more comfort. I'm getting old for crying out loud. Now, this doesn't mean that I still don't travel on a budget anymore. Of course I do. I just sometimes splurge on a little, a little bit more comfort from time to time. And that's okay. And I guess what my point is really that whichever way you choose to travel, it's all okay. Don't limit yourself to having just one type of experience just because you call yourself a backpacker. No one's going to think that you're a backpacker failure if you stay in a, a nice little guest house. No one's going to take away your backpacker card. And flash packing isn't hard or expensive either. I mean, if you budget well, you can stay in cheap dorms most of the time and then splurge on a nicer place when you need to or eat street food most of the time and then splurge on that fancy restaurant that you really want to go to. It really, it's really not that hard. And you really have to take into account value for money as well. I mean, if you're traveling a destination that's generally cheaper, then your dollar or your pound can stretch a long way. I mean, I'm staying in a boutique hotel at the moment that would cost a lot of hundreds, if not thousands back home, but I'm paying less than what I would for a takeaway back home for it. And to be perfectly honest with you, a lot of the time upgrading to a private room, whether that's a private room in a hostel or a guest house or a boutique hotel like I'm in at the moment, it's actually only slightly more than what a dorm room costs anyway. So don't limit yourself to doing just one type of thing when you travel. Go be a backpacker, but don't be afraid to upgrade to flashpacker status once in a while as well when it suits you, because it really is awesome and it's completely up to you how you travel. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already, please hit those thumbs up and subscribe buttons and if you like what you see and you wanna support the channel, check out all the good stuff on social media and on the website as well and come and join the conversation on social media too. Links as always are in the description down below and I will see you soon.